Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Once again, happy MLK Day. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole situation that's going on with Kenya Moore. If you guys don't know, there's been like this whole, I want to call it Wiggate scandal. So for the past few weeks on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, there's been a lot of talk about wigs. Kenya has been disrespectful. She came to Marlo's party, you know, went in on Marlo for selling wigs and telling people they should go natural and use her hair products. Her hair products help and everything else. In return, while they were at dinner last weekend, Marlo called out Kenya like, hold up, you talked all this shit about me wearing wigs, but is that a wig on your head? And Kenya's like, no, it's not a wig. And Marlo's like, well, take it off. And she refuses. I want to know why do you have on a wig that might wow like hell. I didn't say that. Don't you do, try. I can tell. No, I have a wig. See, Pull it off. Left. Pull it off. Kenya has a wig? Not the one who came to my event and was promoting products for natural hair care. You go Kenya, on that. I'm not the oh, I, I have on a wig. We don't care. I have on a wig. We don't okay. care. Do you have on a wig? Okay, let's end it on a good night. I need to do the inventory because I was missing a wig. So Kenya is once again acting like this is her hair and, you know, and everything else. Well, then this Sunday's episode, Tanya basically put Kenya Moore on blast, okay? So what happened is that Kenya Moore texted Tanya and basically said, "Um, I have a box that I left there in Canada. Can you bring it back to the U.S. for me? Tanya's like, well, you know, Kenya, I fuck with you, but I don't know what's in this box. I'm not about to be a drug mule on the low, bitch. So she decides to open the box, and inside the box there's a phone charger and, surprise, surprise, a wig. Basically proving that Kenya Moore does wear wigs. So this becomes a huge thing on social media Sunday night. People are dragging her. There's all this back and forth. You know, it's just insane how much hair causes an uproar in the community. It's just really, really crazy. So Kenya Moore decided to respond to the backlash by posting this on Instagram. Y'all go ahead and check all these video clips out. If that is your definition of cheating, it doesn't apply to us. One thing about Kenya, sniffing around, she knows something. Listen, I might have something on her. After y'all left, she sent me a text message. She was like, hey girl, I left something at the hotel. And I opened it up. It was a phone charger and a wig. You are lying! I have the wig here. She does brag about her hair being all natural. Yeah, all natural underneath her wig. Yes, edges, get into it. Why they mad? Waist length hair. Why they mad? Yes. Get into it. Yeah. All right, so you guys saw Kenya Moore's response. And my thing is this, okay, I don't deny that Kenya Moore has a head full of beautiful hair. We all know that Kenya Moore has really long, natural hair. She's always had a head full of hair. But the thing I don't understand about Kenya is that she bashes these women for the same thing that she does. There's nothing wrong with wearing a protective style, so why clown Marlo? Why talk about other women on the show for wearing wigs as if you don't wear pieces, as if you don't wear wigs, you know? And it's kind of sad that black hair is such a topic constantly. You know, as black women, we're always made to speak on our hair and verify our hair and things like that. Now, you guys know I'm definitely team protective style, okay? This right here is a wig. I love my wigs. I wear different colors, different textures. The thing that I hate about situations like this is that I feel like Kenya is one of those girls who gets boosted because she's one of the token, especially being dark-skinned girls with long, beautiful hair. 
And a lot of times people do not equate dark skinned women to having long, healthy hair. You know, they always like to attach the stereotype of, you know, a bald headed scallywag to the darker skinned women. And then people always assume that if somebody's mixed or light skinned, they naturally have long hair. And that's not necessarily true. And I think that Kenya low key gets gassed by that. I think she's one of those girls her whole life. She was told not only is she pretty, but the fact that she's dark skinned and she has all this hair, that was like an extra cherry on top. And I think that Kenya, you know, as old as she is, she still like relishes in that because why do you have to bully other women for how they choose to wear their hair? Like, why do you feel like you're up here because you have long hair to the middle of your back? But then somebody like Marlo, you're talking shit about her edges. You're talking stuff about her hair. You're talking stuff about her wearing wigs when you also wear wigs. You know, women deal with different issues when it comes to their hair. You know, I've never had super thick edges. I've talked about that before. You know, it's hereditary for me. I wish I had edges that look like Kenya Moore. You know, I just don't. But I don't have the thickest edges. And even though I don't have the thickest edges, I take very good care of my hair. I wash my hair. I condition my hair. As long as you take care of your hair, to me, that's what good hair is. Good hair is not the texture. Good hair is not the length. Good hair is healthy, clean, well-maintained hair. You know, and if you need to put on a wig to protect your hair, to give your hair a break, there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that's why the internet was coming for her scalp, literally, because she's always quick to bash other people's hair and bash other people's, you know, how they style their hair, what they do to their hair. Meanwhile, you also wear wigs. And she said this before in the past that she's attached pieces. You know, she's admitted to wearing pieces to make her hair fuller, but she's never claimed to wear wigs until this whole wig gate thing came out. I personally have never heard her talk about wigs. I've heard her talk about pieces and little extensions that you can, you know, clip-ins. I've heard her say that, but she's never claimed wigs. She's always claimed that's all her hair and she has such beautiful hair and this and that. And I think that she needs to get rid of that mentality. You know, who is the person inside? How do you treat people? To me, that's what Way more important than the physical and I think it's sad that we've gotten to a point where having long hair is some type of bragging right and to be a black woman with long hair it's almost like people equate that to seeing a unicorn there's so many black women out here with long hair just because that's why I always have to remind people don't let these damn wigs fool you just because I wear wigs and hundreds of black women wear wigs does not mean that we're bald-headed that we don't take care of our hair that we're ashamed of our hair a wig is a protective style for many women I know a lot of black women, when they take out these damn wigs at night, their shit is hanging past their shoulders, damn near to the middle of their back. So don't get it twisted. I think people should be allowed to wear their hair how they want to and style it however they want to. If you want to have locks, if you want to be natural and rock your afro, you can do whatever you want. If you want to have it straight, if you feel the need to still perm your hair, that is your business. But it's really sad that hair is like such a huge deal still in 2020. You know what I'm saying? The fact that Kenya Moore is sitting here perpetuating BS by knocking women who wear wigs and pieces all the while she's doing the same thing to me is kind of hypocritical. But then in the same breath, you're bragging and making it seem like you're up here compared to these other women because of your hair texture, the fullness of your hair and how gorgeous it is. I mean, even in that video, when they're combing through her hair and showing that it's her real hair, you can even sense her arrogance as she's doing that. You know, like, <laughs> nah, 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 I have hair. Yes. Get into it. Hey. Yes, edges, get into it. Why they mad? Wasteland hair. And it's just like, how old are we? Are we in junior high? You know how many black women have hair? You know how many black women can, you know, run combs through their hair and it's their real shit? So I don't know. I just, I don't get it. You know, the Beyonce goes through the same thing. Anytime Beyonce shows her real hair, it ends up being like just this huge hoopla, all this drama, people arguing back and forth. It's her real hair. No, it's not. There's pieces. No, it's not. It's like, what the hell? Like, there's so many black women with real hair. There's a lot of black women out here who have long, natural hair. Kenya is not a unicorn, even though she tries to make it seem like she is. She's not a unicorn. She's not rare, okay? And she's not the only black woman or dark-skinned black woman out here with a head full of hair. So I'm going to need you to pipe down, sis, and stop trying to act like you're better than the other women when you do the same thing by wearing wigs and using them as protective styles. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Kenya Moore and everything that she's had to say about these women and their hair and their wigs up until this point 
only for her to be blasted by Tanya Sams, letting the whole world know that Kenya does wear lace front wigs, okay? And then what do you guys think about Kenya Moore's response to everything? So let's go ahead and talk about Wiggate. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Last but not least, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces. <laughs>